Okay, everyone. Now, here challenge six of OWASP Academic. Basically, challenge six is asking us to get access to the website, to the target website. Let's navigate to the site here. Okay, so here we need to insert some kind of code in order to get access to the website. Basically, as we have learned, we should see the page source. And we can see here that we got a script and we got the function document right with the unescape function that converts or parse the URL here. So we need as we, as we have unescape here, we realize that there is some sort of conversion or decoding process is taking place using the URL here. So we might so we might get I mean, <coughs> we may get a sensible result by decoding this URL. So let's take the script here. I'm going to copy this. And okay, it's my PA pursuit. Okay. Um, okay, let me get this in here. This. Okay, so here I paste the URL here to decode the URL to the next string. As you can see, when pressing on decode, we get the following HTML code. Okay, let's copy. If, I, if we copy this into the sublime here, we can see the code that's being run when every time or whenever we press on the button which is enter check code so basically the script here is running or decoding this url okay into this code so it's running this code actually so if we navigate through this code get it down down we can see here that there is some kind of information about password and function which is called get password information and we can see the F else statement here that compares any input by user to the to the phrase or to the string easy. So we immediately realize or rapidly realize that easy might be the password. Let's try it. Give it a try. Okay. So here if we paste it and check it. Now we've been granted access so basically in this uh, challenge the main plot here is to decode or to realize that whenever an escape function basically an unescape function is deprecated function in javascript 1.5 so it's not used anymore in javascript but whenever you see an escape function here in javascript you should realize that a decoding process is taking place and the content here between the parentheses should be decoded in order to see what's going on.